I'm Nick Hogan. This is AUT 150. Uh, today we have a 1954 235 that came out of the grain truck and we're going to ream some ridges. Um, this is a ridge reaming tool. So how we start our process is uh, get the tool set up. You, so this screw on top adjusts the pieces on the side which will center you in the cylinder. These two adjust where the top piece is uh, positioned. If you want to loosen those up for me real quick. It, you can use a 10 millimeter box wrench on these and that will adjust where your blade is centered uh, in the cylinder. So we'll place the tool in the cylinder, it goes down like this. You'll need to use a screwdriver to make sure that it's not spinning when you're tightening this top nut. We're going to start to tighten it and just snug it up but don't go too tight because you can damage the cylinder walls. After that you'll push the blade against the cylinder wall, just push it out and then put pressure on it with your finger while you tighten up the two screws to hold it in place. There's blade settings on this mechanism right here. There's a setting one, a setting two, and a setting three. Start on setting one and push the blade against the wall. And then you'll use a 7 8 wrench. So this is already set to one right here, you can see it. You can adjust it with a wrench, this little bolt. So use this to start spinning. And you'll, you can feel it start to cut. You'll feel resistance with it and then run it all the way up past the ridge, which we'll do. Spin it to the right because it has uh, reverse cut threads, so right is up and left is down. Or left is down. You might feel resistance on one side more than the other when you start out and that could be because um, of wear on one side more than the other in the piston uh, or just because of the way the cylinder is oriented. Now it's starting to cut really good. It's digging in there, which is good. All right, we're at the top of our threads, so make sure this stays tight. All right. We'll uh, back it back down past the ridge, and then we'll switch to setting either one and a half or two. You can kind of feel it. Uh, you don't want to cut too much and make the like make the top of the cylinder even bigger. Like you don't want to damage the walls, but make it snug enough to where you'll keep cutting with each pass. We'll check the ring ridge with our finger. You can feel it. You can catch it with your fingernail too, and that'll let you know when you need to quit. Just do enough so you can get the pistons out. All right. The next step is we have to change the setting from a two to a three because we've done a pass, um, two passes actually. We're gonna do the third pass on setting three. So what you do is you grab your 10 millimeter wrench and you switch it from setting two to setting three. See what's that? That's setting two, I'm trying to get it over. There you go, you got setting three. All right, this is setting three. Now what we'll do is bring it back up again uh, make sure that the cutter blade goes past the top of the ridge when we're cutting. It's good to tighten up this every once in a while because when you bring it up and it bottoms out, it can loosen up uh, your center in the cylinder. Now you can hear it starting to cut pretty, pretty well. You can see uh, shaving starts to come out the top of the cylinder. That's a good thing, you're going high enough. All right, and you can see your cutter blade up there. So you can reach in and feel. And setting on, on number three, that should be good enough to get a piston out. It's pretty flat in there. 
Well, now we're gonna take the tool out. So what we're gonna do is turn this back to one just to get the blade back in. Loosen these up with your 10 millimeter wrench. All right, and you'll center this again. Loosen the top. And remove the tool. After making a few passes and switching this over from one to two to three eventually, this is what the finished product will look like. You can run your fingers over it and your fingernail might catch the little ridges, that's because it's not honed, but it'll, it'll be flat, flat along the sides. And there's probably a good amount of shavings down in there too. So you'll, we'll come off the side of this. We'll clean it up again. Uh, make sure you get all the debris out of there because there's going to be a lot of it. And around the top from the around the top of the cylinder head here, get it all out. I'm Nick. This is how you ream a ridge in AUT 150.